DK Find Out, Maya, Incas, and Aztecs. What do you want to find out? Fun facts, amazing pictures, and quizzes. There is a lot of information in this book, so I'm just going to be reading the main narrative text on each page. Three Civilizations The Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs were great civilizations of the American continent. A civilization is a society that shares the same way of life. You can still visit the remains of their cities today, deep in jungles and high on mountains. Here's a map of these three civilizations. The Aztecs in yellow, the Maya in purple, and the Incas in orange, North and South America. Maya. We've stepped back in time to Yucatan, Mexico in 1500 CE. This is the land of the stargazing, pyramid-building Maya. Let's ask a couple of them about Maya life, which stretches all the way back to around 2000 BCE. You can read these questions and answers on your own or with an adult, as well as reading all the other cool information on these pages. Incas. We've time traveled all the way back to the Inca Empire, South America in 1500 CE. At this time, the Incas have been around about 300 years. Let's ask a couple of Incas about their world of gods, mountaintop cities, and llamas. The Aztecs. The final stop in our time-traveling adventure is the Aztec Empire in Mexico. The year is 1518 CE. The Aztecs had started out in the 1000s CE as a people who wandered from place to place. But they now live in bustling, built-up cities. Let's ask a warrior and a teacher about their lives. Society. The Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs were all well-organized societies divided into different levels or classes. While the Incas and Aztecs each had an emperor at the head, Maya society was divided into cities with their own rulers and had no single leader. Daily life. For most people, whether Maya, Aztec, or Inca, daily life meant hard work and obeying the rules. Everyone knew their duties and their place in society. Men and women, rich and poor, young and old. If the gods were kind, families had a home, clothes, and enough food to live on. Farming. The Maya, Aztec, and Inca peoples were expert farmers. They tended crops on farmland ranging from warm, wet lowlands to cold, dry highlands. They farmed in the middle of lakes and on steep mountain slopes. All three civilizations grew a wide variety of plants for food, but the most important was maize, or corn. Food. The Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs ate some foods that you'll recognize, and some you probably won't. Growing food was a daily job for most people. They also kept animals, hunted, or went to a market to get meat and fish. Chocolate! Children. It was tough being a Maya, Inca, or Aztec child. From toddler age, boys were taught their father's work, such as fishing, and girls learned household skills, such as weaving. Bad behavior was punished by parents, but families were still loving to each other. Tenochtitlan. The Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan, was home to around 200,000 people. Built on an island in Lake Texcoco, this floating city had streets, canals, royal palaces, and a busy market. On top of high temples, 
priests made sacrifices to the gods. Machu Picchu. This magnificent Inca site nestles high up in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Built in the 1400 CE, it may have been used as a royal estate and a sacred religious place for Inca leaders. Today, visitors come to, want to wonder at Machu Picchu's 200 buildings linked by 3,000 stone steps. Gods. People believed gods controlled all life on earth, from the weather to wars. They worshipped gods in temples and offered sacrifices to keep the gods happy. Each civilization had their own gods, but some gods were shared. Inca Mythology Like many peoples, the, Inca, the Incas told stories or myths about their gods and how the world was made. Every Inca child was told the story of how two Inca heroes, Manco Capac and Mama Oclo, founded the Inca Empire. Ooh, you can read the story here. Ceremonies. For the Maya, Aztecs, and Incas, ceremonies were important events in the yearly calendar. Religious festivals took place when crops were planted and harvested. Emperors and priests made sacrifices to gods. There were celebrations held in honor of new babies, young people, and dead ancestors. War. War was part of life. The Maya and Incas sent armies into battle, but the Aztecs were especially feared warriors. Battles began with armies far apart, shooting arrows and javelins from complex machines. Closer fighting with clubs and knives came next. Prisoners were taken for human sacrifice. Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza in Yucatan, Mexico, was an important Maya city from around 600 to 1200 CE. The city's temple, today known as the Temple of Kukulkan, dominates Chichen Itza. The temple was dedicated to Kukulkan, the feather serpent god. And here is an interview with Dr. Diane Davies, a Maya history expert who has hunted for ancient objects and explored ruins deep in the jungles of Central America. She now lives in the UK, teaching school children and university students all about the Maya. You can read their interview on your own. Art and technology. The Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs did not use the wheel. Their tools were made of natural materials, such as stone. Yet they built boats and slung rope bridges across rivers. They made statues, huge temples, and beautiful objects. They studied the stars and math. I'm just going to read this one because I think it's really cool. Recording. The Incas kept careful records of everything, including llama herds, grain stores, and army numbers. Instead of writing, they use a system of knotted strings called a quipu. Writing. The Maya created an early form of writing using signs called glyphs. Some were picture signs standing for ideas or words. Others were sound signs for parts of words. See if you can match the description below with the symbols and so decode the glyphs. You'll have to pause the video or just buy the book to play this little game. Medicine. If you were a Maya, Inca, or Aztec, you'd ask the gods for help to heal your illness. Plants were also important for healing the sick, and surgeons knew how to patch up battle wounds. These medical skills, however, could not fight off the killer diseases later brought by Spanish invaders. Ball game. A violent ball game was part of religious life for both the Maya and the Aztecs. The game was deadly serious, for losers might have their heads cut off. A much less aggressive version of the game is still played in parts of Mexico today.
calendars. The Maya and the Aztecs had several calendars. This meant that each day had more than one date. These calendars helped people to keep tra track, to keep up with their busy schedules of religious celebrations. Crafts. Children learned crafts from their parents. They could make pots and baskets and weave wool and cr cloth. Craft work was a full-time job for many people. Precious stone masks, metal jewelry, and feathered headdresses all took a lot of skill and practice to make. Inca gold. Gold was the sacred metal of the Incas. They called gold the sweat of the sun god. But the Incas' fascination with gold led to their downfall. Spanish soldiers heard of a land of gold and silver and conquered the Inca Empire so they could take their treasures. Under attack. In the 1500 CE, the Spanish came to the Americas to find treasure. They attacked the Maya, Aztecs, and Incas, whose lands were rich in gold and silver. The native people bravely fought back, but were conquered by the Spanish invaders. <laughs> Just want to read this part. How were they defeated? The Spanish caused divisions within the Aztec and Inca empires. They gained allies from these divisions and from local enemies. The Spanish had steel armor, swords, and guns. They also brought diseases, which killed many people. Where are they now? Today, many people live in Central and South America. Uh, many people in Central and South America have Maya, Aztec, and Inca, or Inca ancestors. In Mexico, some people speak Nahuatl, which comes from the Aztec language. Other people in Central America speak types of Mayan. In Peru, many people still use versions of the Quechua language of the Incas. Then and now. If you've ever bounced a rubber ball, crossed a suspension bridge, or eaten popcorn, you have the Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs to thank. As well as being inventors, they were among the first people to discover many materials and popular foods of today. Facts and figures. There is so much to learn about the Maya, Incas, and Aztecs. We've gathered together as many fascinating facts as we could fit into these pages. This is a sad one. Up to 90% of the Aztecs, that means about 9 out of 10 people, died when the Spanish came, mostly from European diseases. Here is a glossary. Some words in this book may be new to you. This is what they mean. They'll help you to learn about the Maya, Incas, and Aztecs. But again, to fully delve into this book, you will have to purchase it. And I'll put a link into the video description. But that was DK Find Out, Maya, Incas, and Aztecs. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons and if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments or send us a message on the channel.